The United Auto Workers, or UAW, is a big union. It has a long history of advocating for the rights and welfare of automotive workers across the United States. Founded in 1935, the UAW has been a cornerstone in the labor movement, fighting tirelessly for fair wages, safe working conditions, and job security for its members. We represent workers who make cars in America. Our members are the backbone of the automotive industry, working day in and day out to produce the vehicles that millions of Americans rely on for their daily transportation needs. These workers build cars, trucks, and SUVs. They are skilled professionals who take pride in their work, ensuring that each vehicle meets the highest standards of quality and safety. They work in factories for companies like Ford, a name synonymous with American automotive innovation and reliability. GM, another giant in the industry known for its wide range of vehicles and commitment to technological advancement, and Stellantis, which owns iconic brands like Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. These companies have been pillars of the American automotive landscape for decades. The UAW fights for fair pay, good benefits, and safe workplaces for its members. This includes negotiating contracts that provide health insurance, retirement plans, and other essential benefits that ensure a decent quality of life for workers and their families. Safety is a top priority. The UAW works to ensure that factories are equipped with the latest safety gear and protocols to protect workers from accidents and injuries. For a long time, things were good for the UAW and car companies. The post-war boom saw a surge in car ownership, and the automotive industry thrived. People bought lots of gas-powered cars. These vehicles became a symbol of freedom and prosperity, and the demand for them kept factories busy and workers employed. But now, things are changing. The automotive industry is undergoing a significant transformation as it shifts towards more sustainable and environmentally friendly technologies. Electric cars are becoming popular, they offer a cleaner alternative to traditional gas-powered vehicles, and advancements in battery technology are making them more accessible to the average consumer. And this change is scary for the UAW. The transition to electric vehicles presents new challenges and uncertainties for workers who have spent their careers building traditional cars. Making electric cars requires fewer workers. The production process is more automated and the components are different, which means that some of the skills that were once in high demand may no longer be needed which means jobs could be lost. This potential for job loss is a significant concern for the UAW, as it could impact the livelihoods of thousands of workers and their families. The UAW is worried about the future. The union is actively working to address these challenges by advocating for policies that support a just transition for workers, ensuring that they are not left behind in the shift to a greener economy. This includes pushing for retraining programs and other initiatives that can help workers adapt to the new landscape of the automotive industry. Electric cars are becoming more popular. Why? Well, they help the environment. They don't burn gas, which means fewer harmful emissions. Electric cars are also becoming more affordable. Governments are giving tax breaks to people who buy them. Car companies are investing heavily in electric car technology. They are building new factories to make batteries and electric motors. This shift towards electric cars is happening quickly, and traditional car companies are trying to catch up. Dodge, Jeep, and Ram are known for their big, powerful vehicles that have become iconic in the automotive world. These brands have built a reputation for producing some of the most robust and high-performance vehicles on the market. They make muscle cars, SUVs, and trucks that are equipped with large, gas-powered engines. These engines are designed to deliver impressive horsepower and torque, making them favorites among car enthusiasts who crave power and performance. However, these vehicles usually have large engines that burn a lot of gas, contributing significantly to traffic congestion and pollution in urban areas. The environmental impact of these gas-guzzling engines is becoming increasingly problematic as cities struggle with air quality issues. This is a problem in a world that is rapidly moving towards electric cars. As more consumers become environmentally conscious, the demand for electric vehicles, EVs, is on the rise. This shift is putting pressure on traditional automakers to adapt to the changing market dynamics. Electric cars are different. They represent a new era of automotive technology that prioritizes sustainability and efficiency. Unlike their gas-powered counterparts, electric vehicles produce zero emissions, making them a cleaner alternative for the environment. They are powered by batteries and electric motors, which are fundamentally different from traditional internal combustion engines. These components require a different approach to design and manufacturing, posing a challenge for companies that have long relied on gas engines. 
these parts are made differently than gas engines. The production process for electric vehicles involves new technologies and materials, necessitating a complete overhaul of existing manufacturing practices. Dodge, Jeep, and Ram need to learn new skills to build electric vehicles. This means investing in training programs for their engineers and technicians to ensure they are equipped with the knowledge and expertise required to work on EVs. They need to retrain their workers and change their factories. This transformation is not just about updating machinery. It involves a cultural shift within the company to embrace new technologies and methodologies. The transition to electric vehicles is a complex and costly process, but it is essential for these brands to stay competitive in an evolving market. The UAW is worried about its members. Making electric cars requires fewer workers. Jobs in engine and transmission factories could be lost. The UAW wants to make sure its members still have good jobs. The UAW is in talks with car companies about the future. They want to make sure workers are retrained for new jobs. They want to make sure new factories are built in the United States. The UAW wants to protect its workers during this big change. Section 5. Can Dodge, Jeep, and Ram change? Dodge, Jeep, and Ram need to adapt to survive. They need to embrace electric vehicles. This won't be easy, but it might be their only option. These brands have a few things going for them. They have loyal customers. People love their cars and trucks. They also have strong brands. People recognize and respect the names Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Section 6. Electric Off-Roading with Jeep Jeep is known for off-road vehicles. People love Jeeps because they can go anywhere. Can an electric Jeep be a true off-roader? Jeep is already making electric SUVs. They have a hybrid Wrangler that uses both gas and electricity. They are also working on a fully electric Wrangler. Electric Jeeps might be different, but they can still be tough and capable. Section 7. Will Ram Trucks Go Electric? Ram makes trucks for work and play. People use Ram Trucks to tow trailers, haul loads, and go off-road. Electric trucks are becoming more powerful. Can they handle the tough jobs that Ram trucks are known for? Ram is investing in electric truck technology. They are working on a fully electric Ram 1500. Electric trucks might be the future of the truck market. Ram wants to be a leader in this new market. Section 8. Can Dodge still make muscle cars? Dodge is known for muscle cars. Cars like the Charger and Challenger are powerful and fun to drive. Electric cars can be fast too. Can Dodge make electric muscle cars that are just as exciting? Dodge is planning to build electric muscle cars. They want to keep the spirit of their gas-powered cars alive. Electric muscle cars could be very fast and powerful. They might even be quicker than their gas-powered counterparts. Section 9. The future is uncertain, but hopeful. The future is uncertain for Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. The shift to electric vehicles is a big challenge, but it also presents an opportunity. These brands can reinvent themselves for a new era, if Dodge, Jeep, and Ram can adapt, they can continue to be successful. They need to embrace new technologies and build electric vehicles that people love. They need to work with the UAW to protect workers and create new jobs. Section 10. What happens next? The next few years will be crucial for the future of Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. These iconic brands, known for their ruggedness and reliability, are at a crossroads. The automotive industry is shifting rapidly towards electric and hybrid vehicles driven by environmental concerns and technological advancements. The decisions they make today will determine their fate in the electric age. Will they invest in cutting-edge technology and sustainable practices? Will they embrace the change and innovate, or will they cling to the past, hoping that their legacy will carry them through? Will they be able to adapt and thrive? The road ahead is uncertain and full of challenges. The competition is fierce, with new players entering the market and established brands upping their game. The ability to pivot and respond to market demands will be critical. Or will they become relics of the past? Only time will tell. The automotive landscape is littered with the remains of once great brands that failed to adapt. The stakes have never been higher. One thing is for sure. The decisions made in boardrooms and design studios today will shape the future of these brands. Leaders must be visionary, willing to take risks and make bold moves. The auto industry is undergoing a massive transformation. From the way vehicles are manufactured to the way they are powered, every aspect is evolving. This transformation is not just about technology, it's about a shift in mindset and culture. The companies and workers that can adapt to this change will be the ones that succeed in the long run. It will require a collective effort, from the factory floor to the executive suite. Embracing change, fostering innovation, and staying ahead of trends 
will be key to thriving in this new era of mobility.